What's going on guys, it's Kuday here, and today, more movie video, I'll never know for sure, but we can kind of estimate. So, let's get started. First question, when is Relic Hunt? And we're going to start off with a question that I absolutely cannot answer, and so the answer is, I don't know. Now, why don't I know? And why doesn't anyone know? Well, the reason why is because NetherRealm Studios and WB Games both keep Relic Hunt on the server. And what does that mean? The server is only going to display when the last Relic Hunt took place. That's it. We all know that it took place on January 13th. That's it. We cannot know any more information. And NetherRealm Studios slash WB Games release Relic Hunt like a surprise. And they lock it down very heavily. And the reason why they might be doing that is because Relic Hunt is very popular for free to play. They don't really like free to play getting their hopes up drastically. So they don't want the release date to be out there like that. They kind of want it to be really hidden. When is the tower, Adenian Tower, going to end? It is going to end on September 10th. There you go. All right. And then next is when is the Fire God Liu Kang Soul Pack coming out? And the answer to that is, don't know. And the reason why is because there is no Fire God Liu Kang Soul Pack inside the game files. They only added paid packs in the last update. Now, whether you are against that or whether you are for that, um, it's a mixed bag. I already got my feelings out in the past two videos and I got my hatred out. We're gonna try to focus not so much on the hatred part and we're just gonna give you the facts because that's what I like doing here. It's just the facts. And then the next thing is, what are they gonna be doing for Friday the 13th? Now, I'm gonna be guessing based on prior events. We're gonna be using an analytical point of view, which is purely based off of prior experiences with other packs and events at the time. So number one, what was updated? Back when the Nightmare Tower was released, they actually added paid packs for Freddy and Jason. I actually have been wrong. They never had paid packs before the Nightmare Tower came out. So what did they add? They added a Halloween Nightmare Jason pack. They added a Halloween Nightmare Freddy pack and a Halloween Nightmare Leatherface pack. Hey guys, it's me dubbing over the video really quick. And the reason why is because I made a huge error. Um, the Halloween Jason Voorhees pack and Leatherface and Freddy pack all did not cost a single dime. It was 400 souls. And guess what the rewards were from this pack? You could get a chance for hockey mask, uh, an epic tower equipment card, a rare tower equipment card, and an uncommon tower equipment card. 20% chance for the uncommon, 4% chance for the um, rare, and a 1% chance for epic. Guys, people were criticizing this pack and saying that there was a 50% chance for a diamond back in the day, but dang, they've come a long way. They were giving out tower equipment for souls. This was all the way back in update 2.3, a really, really long time ago. And uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to basically dub over this part of the video and say that no, it was not for money. And if I say it's for money, $20, I'm meaning the 400 soul uh, pack that they had for Jason and uh, yeah, so go back to the video and so They added two new nightmare packs and Let's try to set our controversies aside and just read out the numbers and the data So the two new Jason and Freddy packs uh, which they did not add a Leatherface pack Which is a little surprising, but yeah, Freddy and Jason both got a new pack $10 for a 10% chance to get Freddy and Jason along with their equipment. And no, not their tower equipment, their regular uh, battle mode equipment. Yeah, that's right. Now you have a chance to get their regular equipment that you can get from battle mode. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's try not to make fun of it too much. Very, very interesting if I do say so myself. It's a little dull. A lot of people, including me, are a little nervous 
about prior experiences with NetherRealm Studios' corporate decisions to remove soul packs from this game and push Tapjoy offers to the extreme. Now, why are they pushing Tapjoy offers? Because it takes profits from third-party shops. And whether you think that's a good idea or you think that's a bad idea, um, they are affecting free-to-play to do that. They're basically hurting free-to-play as a way to make more money, which I'm not in agreement with that, but it's up to you whether you think that's good or not. All right. Now, what does this mean for what they're going to do soul pack wise? Looking at it from an analytical point of view, Freddy and Jason may be limited to 10 packs. And you want to know why? Because I opened up the Nightmare Jason pack and in 40 to 60,000 souls, I was able to max him out entirely. Now, if you were hearing that right, that's right. I was able to max him out entirely for only 40 to 60,000 souls. And they are planning to charge $10 for a 10% chance. Now, if they think that players are going to pay for a 10% chance over the soul pack that comes out in the game, they'd be mistaken. So what do you think they're going to do? They might just not do the soul pack or limit it to 10. So you can only get him once out of the 10 times or, you know, you could get him multiple times. But this is just the theory of what they might do to free to play. This could get really ugly, guys. And I'm a little nervous of the NetherRealm corporate decision that they will make on what kind of pack for souls that will be available. Considering how they treat Tapjoy right now, on an analytical perspective, it's not very good. And they might treat us like trash. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, and that's just my analytical point. Maybe they actually care this time, but considering they made a 10% chance for $10, that's not looking great, guys. And considering that the 4th of July, they didn't celebrate it at all whatsoever, not even with pay packs, we're looking not so great. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this video, and yeah, peace out.